Hey all my beautiful Stampistas. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Today we are going to be doing the swatches for the UR plates. Um, I'm actually going to do one plate on this one because y'all request, um, one of the subscribers requested that I use different um, stampers on it. So that's them right over there. I have a whole bunch of different types um, so y'all can see how they stamp on it. Um, so I'm just going to do one plate on this video and then I'll do the other plate on another video. Although on the other plate I probably will not um, use different stampers unless it's requested. So if you want me to still continue using different stampers for the next plate just list, uh, let me uh, know in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use my Can Stamping Polish and my GP Stamper Scraper. And I will, I do have these all already swatched, so I'm just going to go through and stamp them, and then I will show you the swatches at the end. So, let's get started. The first stamper I'm going to try out is the AliExpress Jumbo Sticky Stamper. And we are going to do this image right here. Whoa, a lot of polish came with that. Okay. Picked up well. I mean, it missed some, a few spots, but not too bad. Yeah, it picked up pretty well. Okay. The next stamper I'm going to use is the AliExpress Little Red Stamper. Okay. That one picked up very well as well. Let's put it on here. Hold on. Let me get a clean piece of um, lint roller. I mean, lint paper. So you'll be able to see it. So that picked up very well. Okay. Next, I'm going to do the AliExpress Regular Clear. Okay. That picked up good. We'll put it on here and let you see. Okay. The next one is the AliExpress Big Blue. Now also ladies, if you're in my stamping group, I know some of you requested like added on to the poll um what you want like stampers that i just don't have so if your stamper is not here i am so sorry i just don't have that stamper in my stock um if i had it i'd definitely do it for you Oh, that didn't pick up very well. We're going to try it again.
much better. It did miss a little bit, but it picked up better than what it did the first time. Which we all know Big Blue picks up. It just might be the way I'm rolling it. Let's try a different image and see if I can get a cleaner pickup on this one. Okay. That was the pickup on that one. It missed a little bit on the edges and in the middle a little on this side. But like I said, I think it's the way I'm doing it. Because y'all have seen me pick up just fine with this one. Alright. The next one we're going to do is the Creative Shop Original Jumbo. And... Okay. I haven't used this stamper in a long time, you guys. Let's um let's try this one. I'm gonna use that one one more time. Much better. So that one picks up very well. Alright, and the next one we're going to be doing is the Creative Shop Space Stamper. This is not my favorite stamper at all, but we're going to give it a shot. And of course, you're not going to be able to see it on Stamper Head, but I will transfer it over to the lint roller. So it picked up perfectly. It's the clouds. I just don't like how this one does. I'm very awkward with some of these, especially the bigger ones. If you couldn't already tell that one. All right, the next one we're going to do is the Fab Your Nails Jumbo Clear. Let's turn the plate around. Okay. And we're going to put it on here. That's the roses. Okay. So far, everything's picking up okay. Next one we're going to do is Fab Your Nails, the um, regular sticky stamper. Okay. It missed some in the middle, it looks like. But I think that was the way I did it. Yeah, let's try it one more time on a different image. Much better. Okay. Next, we're going to use the jump, the Five Year Nails Jumbo Sticky Stamper. Okay, and this is one of the images with a lot of fine lines, so it picks up beautifully. Just can't be a good sticky stamper. 
All right, this is the GP Stamping Jumbo Sticky Stamper. This is the last stamper that I'm gonna do. And that's another one with a lot of fine lines. So as you see, I just use many different kinds and sizes and brands and all that and they done really well. So these plates are very good plates. All right, so this is the You Are Beautiful 3 and here are the swatches. And you can pause it if there's a certain image you wanna look at for longer. I mean, they all came out really well. All right, that's the end of this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, we would love to have you in our little family. I hope everybody has a wonderful night, and I shall see you in the next video.